But one thing unites the tens of thousands of species that may be found here. Most of them have come from somewhere else. In every drop of water, in every sea, is plankton. A myriad of fantastic shapes and forms living their lives unseen. Down here are the plants and animals that run the great life support systems of the planet, the engines of the living Earth. These crystalline particles are plants called phytoplankton. They are small, a hundred times smaller than a pinhead, and they're responsible for over 50% of the oxygen on this planet. They are as important, if not more important, than all the forests of the land in the way they affect the air we breathe. The surface of the ocean is peppered with these incredibly small plants. Each day they gather sunlight, release oxygen, and multiply to produce food for grazers, such as copepods. A copepod is a crustacean, like a shrimp or a crab, specialized to live in the plankton. It dwarfs the plants it eats. Even so, it is smaller, much smaller than a match head. On this planktonic prairie, a copepod is like a bison swimming in a sea of liquid grass. These and many other species are professional plankton. They are plants, grazers and predators just like any other ecosystem, busily living their tiny lives adrift in the high seas. But other strange entities tumble and thrash through the back blocks of oblivion. They are on a mission. They are the interstellar voyagers of inner space. This is the larval form of a sea urchin. journey to find or found a new reef. Virtually all of the familiar creatures of the sea have a larval phase in their life cycle when they become a temporary member of the plankton. In the vastness of the oceans, their journey to find a new reef seems hopeless, but somehow the creatures in this larval lottery prevail. This is the story of how simple animals and plants have crossed oceans and constructed empires. A tale of epic voyaging through the deeps.